Hi, and welcome to Digital Scan 3D. Today, we're going to look at our Creon ACE scanner arm. Creon arms come in a variety of different sizes, ranging from 2 meters all the way to 4.5 meters. Our configuration right now is a 2.5 meter arm. On the end here, we have a scanner. Not only can you do uh, 3D scanning, but you can also do probing as well. The probe can be attached both to the scanner or to the arm itself, depending on what type of setup you want to do. We're going to focus on the 3D scanning today. For our particular setup, we have our Skyline Wide Scanner Head. That is one of three configurations. The scanner wide has about 15 micron accuracy, which is about 6 tenths. It also has the widest scan line on the market at 200 millimeters, which is roughly 8 inches. The second configuration that we have is a Skyline Eyes scanner, which has an accuracy of 9 microns, roughly 3 tenths. The last configuration is the open configuration, which has less accuracy than the eyes, but still a great option overall. Every configuration of the scanner includes the blue light laser. Benefits of the blue light laser is that you're able to scan highly reflective parts, as well as difficult parts for other scanners. Right now, we're going to use our Korean arm to scan our object directly into DesignX. Now, DesignX is a powerful reverse engineering software with universal connectivity to all sorts of different scanners to scan directly into DesignX. This powerful software is the leading reverse engineering software that you can find on the market today. Not only can you do solid modeling, but you can do surface modeling as well. And wizards help along the way. And when you're done, you can live transfer your DesignX file into your native CAD package for further editing as you desire. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the software and start the scan. We're going to go ahead and start our live capture right there. Now, it's a very ergonomic handle here, very comfortable. Uh, and it's a, just a single trigger pull, and it'll start capturing. Now, it tends to be good practice to be perpendicular to your part. The more perpendicular you are with the scanner, the uh, better quality of your scan will come out. It's very much like painting a picture. Now you can see that every once in a while the camera will shift to help um, the, the user see what they're scanning a little bit better. Now at this moment, I'm going to go ahead and flip the part over and scan the other side. I'm going to orientate it in such a way that the harder to scan areas, I'll be able to scan easier from my angle. I'm going to go into our meshes here and I'm going to put all these together into one group. So holding down shift, I'm going to select all those. I'm going to right click and move into a new group. This just helps me control them all together as a single unit. Now let's jump into live capture for the other side. You may notice as I scan, there's a blue laser line and a green uh, circle or a green light. The ideal distance you want to scan from is have the blue laser cross through the green light. And I'm going to do a little bit of the scan cleanup. So some, we'll clean up some noise, we'll clean up the table, and then we'll do the alignment. I'm going to select through, view, uh, parallel with the plane here, and I'm just going to select that plane. All right, so we got one side done. Let's look at the other side now. I think at this point we're ready to combine the two. So we can turn our both, both of our groups on, and we can go over to our scan tools and do a line between scan data. So let's go ahead and choose our local based on the picked point. Choose one of the two groups as our reference. We'll choose group one, and then our moving as group two. Here we have our two groups unaligned. Let's just rotate them to be in a similar orientation. And at this point, we can zoom them in as well. 
a bit so we can see a little bit better what we're looking at. And let's just go ahead and pick some points. And we'll say OK. And as a last step, it's always good to do a global and fine. So we'll choose reference as um, one of the scans. And we'll choose all the others as, as group, as the moving. And we'll just verify our options here. Let's make sure it uses a good amount of points. And let's go ahead and run this. And now we'll mesh our scan data for further processing. I'm going to go ahead and do a decimation now. This will help speed up processing later on. At this point, let's go ahead and do an auto segmentation. This helps with alignment and some more complicated features. At this point, let us go ahead and align our mesh to our world system, to our coordinate system, in other words. Once our mesh is fully aligned, we can go ahead and start modeling. Our first step, let's open up the mesh sketch. With our mesh sketches, we can model our base here.
Now that we've gotten some of the more simpler shapes out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this large loft. We'll set up some mesh sketches around the loft. And when we're finished, we'll create a loft. It looks like we're almost done. Let's go ahead and review our model for accuracy. Let's go ahead and look at our accuracy analyzer. Here we have a color map. We can see what parts are high, what parts are low. Maybe we want to make some modifications at this stage. At this stage, we're ready to live transfer to our native CAD package. Let's go ahead and do some extrude cuts where needed. Now that I have my model in my CAD package, I can go to my history tree and make any modification I want. Now that you have your CAD model in your CAD package, you can then use it in downstream processes such as manufacturing, or drawings, or 3D printing. And with that, we finished our reverse engineering of our turbo housing. Here at Digital Scan 3D, we sell 3D scanners as well as software solutions for reverse engineering and quality assurance. To help get you up and running, we also offer training, either here at our facility or we can come to you. And for those on a budget, we can do the 3D scanning, reverse engineering, and quality assurance for you. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you and have a great day.